So you go in the garage, you get your barbell out, and then you go back in and get a snack? Sometimes. <laughs> I feel like I ate too much to work out, but I'm still hungry. I kind of want a snack, but it definitely wouldn't be a good idea if I ate a snack. We all know that feeling. What are we gonna do today? Hundreds and hundreds of reps. Good boy! Sometimes everything's just a little bit easier with a buddy. What's up everyone? Welcome to today's video. In the last video, Milo was super excited. It was leg day, he was pumped. Today's video, he's kind of just sulking around and that's because some days you lack motivation and that's okay. But when that happens, you need somebody to help you keep accountable or maybe a goal that's gonna keep you on track. And that's what Patrick and I are gonna do today. Both of us were, we've had a hard week, we worked really hard. We are maybe lacking just a little bit of motivation, but we know that we wanna work out. We know it's gonna make us feel better, but we both just kinda needed that little shove. So we're gonna give each other the little shove today and we're gonna do a killer partner workout and just feel really good. Why a partner workout? You might be like, what, what's that gonna do if you both don't have motivation, why? Because typically in a partner workout, once you get moving, you work hard for somebody else. Yes, you're working hard for yourself, but it's a lot of times you go, I go style. So you wanna get your work done and then you get to rest while your partner works. So you work together at chipping away. And today's Ibex 60 workout, we both looked at it and we're like, we are doing that. It's a pretty gnarly one. It's probably gonna take us in the range of 35 to 40 minutes. It's a nice long chipper that we get to chip away together and work hard together so that way we're just holding each other accountable we're helping with each other's motivation we are gonna have a good time because we do like to work out and it's gonna be an awesome workout so what better way than grabbing a buddy and hitting this workout today what are you doing I'm gonna try to get warmed up what are we gonna do today hundreds and hundreds of reps of a partner workout uh, my legs are super tired. It's just been a hard week and I'm not exactly feeling it Or at least I don't feel like my body is feeling it So you kind of you only get as much work or rest as your partners kind of going to allow you So we'll determine our sets and breaks in there and you really only get to rest as long as your partner's working and So you don't get to slack as much as maybe I feel like today I'm just gonna be forced to work and still get a good workout in. Why the gym instead of the garage? Um, just to get out of the outside, to be honest. We've got windows in the garage, but we also have a really big window in here which lets in some natural light, and that just makes it a little bit easier, and we're just outside the house. Um, we made a deliberate effort to come to the gym. We're here to work out, so that's what we're gonna do. Every now and then, it's great to have a garage gym, but it sometimes makes it a little easier to procrastinate, um, just because you can get a snack, or you can sit down and be at your computer. It makes it very easy to do those things as well. So as convenient as it is, if you're not really feeling it, it's also kind of easy to make excuses not to get out there. So we're here and we're gonna work out. So you go in the garage, you get your barbell, and then you go back in and get a snack? <laughs> Sometimes. I'll be honest, I'm still hungry today. I feel like I ate too much to work out, but I'm still hungry, so I'm at like a weird, a weird point. I kind of want a snack, but it definitely wouldn't be a good idea if I ate it. We all know that feeling. All right, the workout. So it's a nice long chipper. Chippers are probably my favorite style of a workout. We're starting with 300 air squats into 300 double unders. We're gonna actually use our drag rope today, make it a little bit more challenging. Then from there, we've got 150 calories. We're gonna choose a machine. Patrick and I are either gonna echo bike or ski erg today, but if you could have a rower, you could use a rower, you could use a C2, but you're accumulating 150 calories. 100 alternating dumbbell hang clean and jerks. 100 overhead plate lunge steps. Since we've got the gym, we'll probably walk up and down for the step instead of doing them in place like we do in the garage. 50 single arm doubles press, followed by 50 box jump overs. We can split the work however we want. If you have a partner who doesn't wanna do something, they don't really have to, but I would highly recommend going one-to-one -one work to rest, just to help with that motivation like we talked about in the beginning of the video, and to work hard for each other, and just have fun with it.
You guys can probably tell who got a better workout out of that. Um, just got a little sweat, not much. Density wasn't that high today, uh, but it was a great workout. We moved for 40 some minutes, right? Got a ton of reps in, so it was a great workout. We did make it to the gym. I feel like I actually wanna do more now, but we're using this kind of more as that active recovery, just get good blood flow, and then we'll get some other stuff done today. But it refreshed me, and I feel rejuvenated, and I feel ready to work out tomorrow, and I think that's more of what I took from this, was just, Getting into the gym, and sometimes when your mind, Myla, go on, here, good. Sometimes when you get into the gym and you're just tired and you don't wanna do it, maybe that's a sign for you to take a rest day. Take a day or an active recovery day like we did today and just refresh and remember why you love to fitness, and then that should hopefully light the fire for you to come back the next day. We cannot hit it hard every single day. Mentally and physically, we become exhausted. You don't have to hit it hard every day, but you almost always feel better if you do something. So that's what we came in today. We did do a lot of reps. It wasn't necessarily easy, but the, intens the intensity wasn't where it normally is, and that's okay. We'll pick it back up tomorrow, and we got a good workout. Thanks for tuning in. We'll make sure to put the workout on the screen so you guys can see it. If you give it a try, definitely tag IBEX Training. It came from our IBEX 60 program. It's just a super awesome workout, and we hope you guys enjoy it. And also, just remember that big takeaway. If you're lacking motivation, try to find an accountability buddy, whether it's a furry friend, a significant other, a good friend, whatever it is, just find somebody to hold you accountable, and that will make fitness things so much more fun. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, Milo says smash the like button. of Louisville. I recently competed in the Spartan Games taking fit. I've run several marathons including the Boston and the New York Marathon and I've also competed in Olympic distance triathlons and completed a half Ironman. Outside of competing I'm a YouTuber, I'm a business owner, my husband and I own CFP Fitness where we help others achieve their fitness goals, I'm a dog mom, and I'm just an avid fitness enthusiast. We like to take all of the fitness that we work so hard to achieve inside of the gym, outside. So whether that means we're rock climbing, we're hiking, we're skiing, whatever it is, we like the adventure and we like to use our fitness to be able to go do cool things. I'm super excited about competing in the high rocks because it's something new, it's gonna be a challenge, and I'm hoping to grow and learn about myself physically and mentally.